It doesn't matter how hard you try and how brave you are, fact is that there are certain football stadiums where the ambience is so intimidating that it will make you shudder. Ask any player from the current era or the past, and they'll name at least one stadium where they found things very tough. So today, we're going to talk about some of the most intimidating stadiums on the planet. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan so that you can follow all of your favourite leagues, teams and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they're involved in other breaking news. It's the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. Home to Scottish giant Celtic, this stadium has been giving visitors mixed feelings since it opened way back in 1892. Celtic fans create an atmosphere like no other, and when your team's visiting, you better hope they're up for it, because fans are literally part of their lineup. Opponents do not get any freebies from the stands. Don't believe us? Watch some of the Celtic vs Rangers games at the stadium and you'll know what we're talking about. This stadium is home to Argentine football giants River Plate. This stadium has been around for more than 80 years and is one of the most iconic venues in football. Housing around 75,000 people, El Monumental is one of the loudest stadiums in South America. It's never easy to be a visiting fan inside the stadium because the home fans make sure that their team has all the support it needs to get the job done. And most of the times, they do get the job done. The Luzhniki Stadium is one of the largest and most intimidating stadiums in Russia. Home to Spartak Moscow, this stadium is not for the faint-hearted. The atmosphere isn't just crazy, it's hostile AF. For home fans, it's a good thing, but if you're a visitor, expect to be involved in a dangerous situation because the home fans aren't very warm towards visiting fans. Even players find it hard to concentrate on the field, such is the atmosphere over there. Home to Barcelona, Camp Nou represents more than football. It is the mecca of Catalonian way of life, and on match days, it's quite a foreboding structure if you're a visiting fan. Housing just under 100,000 people, the Camp Nou creates quite an atmosphere when Barcelona play host to their sworn enemies Real Madrid. Fans are very demanding and can even turn on their own players if things aren't going their way. Home to Manchester United, Old Trafford has always generated quite a unique atmosphere. Also known as the Theatre of Dreams, this is one of the most recognisable stadiums in the world. There was a time when most teams visited the stadium expecting to lose. The player tunnel is specifically designed to intimidate fans, but these days it makes no difference because the Red Devils are no longer the power that they once were. Old Trafford is no more a fortress, and these days the stadium is decaying. A lot of maintenance work is needed to restore the club back to its former glory. No matter what people say, Estadio Santiago Bernabeu is the most intimidating stadium in Spain. Real Madrid absolutely love playing here, and while it doesn't house as many fans as the Camp Nou, the atmosphere generated inside the stadium on match days is electrifying. Fans of Real Madrid are very demanding, and you can clearly observe that when the team isn't doing well. Madrid fans are so used to winning at home that a minor blip isn't forgiven. Many past players have admitted that the atmosphere can get extremely scary if things aren't working out. These fans will always keep you on your toes. The San Siro has been the home of AC Milan and Inter for over a hundred years. The rivalry still stands tall and chances are that the two will continue to share the stadium for many years. With a capacity of 80,000, this stadium has been quite the fortress for both sides. Fans are very rowdy and always make sure that the visiting sides are not in for an easy 90 minutes. The Maracana was originally built for the 1950 World Cup, but is now home to Botafogo and Flamengo. It's quite a daunting task to play inside this stadium. While the stadium is meant to create an enthralling atmosphere, it is intimidating for pretty much everyone. Fans of Brazil are highly demanding, and the national team has at times struggled here. We can remember the 2014 World Cup semi-final where Brazil were dismantled by Germany. The ghosts of the Maracana are rarely banished, but if you happen to attend a game there, we guarantee you that you'll be in for quite an unforgettable experience. Home to Serbian giants Red Star Belgrade, the Red Star Stadium is an intense location to say the least. It's never an exciting experience for visiting sides who just want to be done with it as early as possible. Fans are aggressive, rowdy, and at times extremely racist. For them, it's more about jeering the opponents than seeing their team win. Hands down, the Bombonera is the most intimidating stadium in the world. 
Boca Juniors have been playing here for over 70 years now, and we can see why. Although the stadium only houses 49,000 fans, the stands are on top of the pitch. Fans are demanding, unforgiving, raucous, and make sure that their beloved Boca have everything they need to perform at their best. The moment fans start to jump and chant, the stadium starts shaking. There's a reason why most teams prefer not playing here.